Yeah, hello everyone. My name is Todd Richards. I'm a hand and plastic surgeon with the Arizona Center for Hand Surgery in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I'm board certified and fellowship trained in hand and microsurgery. Uh, today this is going to be a quick video tutorial on trigger finger. Uh, trigger finger is one of the most common causes of, uh, for patients to seek out the care of a hand surgeon. And a trigger finger is a condition where the flexor tendons of the hand uh, that go to the finger become swollen and as they enter the base of the finger, the tendon goes into a pulley system. Uh, what is a pulley? A pulley is like a tunnel and the tendon is like a belt going through a belt loop, if you will. And the tendon, for various reasons, becomes swollen and so as the tendon enters the pulley system, which we can see demonstrated on this cartoon. The uh, tendon, as it tries to slide back and forth through the pulley system, becomes stuck, and that leads to the clicking and triggering sensation. So this is a very common condition that we see as people get older, and as they enter their 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, uh, it becomes much more prevalent. Uh, we do tend to see it a little bit more in patients that are diabetic and uh, we see it across all types of people. It doesn't necessarily occur in people who do repetitive or um, certain types of jobs or tasks. Um, so it's a little bit hard to predict exactly who it's going to occur in. Uh, it can be quite painful and uh, the pain usually is at the level where the tendon is getting stuck in the pulley system, although some people will tell me that they experience the pain across the back of the fingers in the knuckle region here. The pulley system is worth taking a look at. We can see in this uh, diagram that there are five pulleys that go to the finger and they're called the A1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, the pathology or tr triggering occurs at the A1 pulley and this is a uh, scene where the tendon as I said gets swollen and as it tries to pass through this narrow tunnel it gets caught. So what are the treatment options for patients with uh, trigger finger? Uh, typically I will recommend uh, that people consider doing steroid injection uh, first. Unfortunately we haven't found that uh, physical therapy is effective in addressing uh, trigger finger and the steroid injections which are given with a fine needle in the base of the hand over the A1 pulley as you can see um, these are injections are uh, typically given with a, a corticosteroid and there's different types that are used uh, plus some local anesthetic uh, they can take a few days before they uh, begin to work, uh, but for most people they are rather effective, although not always a permanent solution. Uh, in my experience, uh, patients that have diabetes tend to have um, a less favorable response to the steroid injection and it can cause their blood sugar to go up uh, for a couple of days as well. Uh, if the steroid injection is initially successful, and the patients in some cases can get several months of relief with the injection, uh, then another injection can be considered uh, if the triggering re returns. Uh, personally, I limit the number of injections to two or three at the most uh, because we know that uh, repeat steroid injections over time can have uh, an effect on the tendon and there is a risk of tendon rupture, albeit very small. Now, if the condition is uh, refractory to the steroid injection, then a surgical procedure to release the A1 pulley can be done. And this is usually the definitive treatment for the, the, the condition. Uh, this is usually done with a uh, incision over the A1 pulley, at whichever finger is needing to be addressed. And multiple fingers can also be affected at the same time. And the dissection is carried down to where the pulley is, and then the, the pulley is opened and released, which you can see here on this cartoon. And that allows the tendon to pass through the um, 
in one pulley region without getting caught. Uh, it does require uh, some stitches to be placed into the skin and those are usually taken out about uh, 10 days after surgery. Uh, a light bandage is applied to the hand and for my patients I encourage them to uh, begin using the hand and moving the fingers uh, gently immediately after surgery. Uh, most people do not need formal hand therapy after this procedure. Uh, some people will get some uh, troublesome swelling after the procedure or get some stiffness and in those cases hand therapy it can be helpful for the recovery. Uh, most people will need to take a couple of days off of work after the surgery uh, to recover depending on what type of job they have and full use of the hand uh, should, in a completely unobstructed manner uh, typically comes after about six to eight weeks. Uh, the surgery takes about five to ten minutes and it can be done in a clinic or it can be done in an operating room. It is an outpatient, outpatient procedure and um, it can be done under local anesthetic, it can be done under uh, local anesthesia with some light sedation, uh, or it can be done under a general anesthetic where the patient would go completely asleep. So this is the, these, this is the basics of trigger finger. Uh, this is the um, instructions and information that I typically would give my patients if they came to see me in clinic. If you have any questions about the procedure or if you'd like to uh, reach out to me in any way, uh, please do so by commenting below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.